Happy birthday to me. July 19th. Good morning, everyone. Today is Wednesday, July 19th, 2023. And I'm here at the beach. It's pretty early in the morning. It's only six something right now. And guess what? Today is my special day. Today is my birthday. I thought it'd be nice to come out this morning and go to the beach and watch the sunrise. So here I am at the beach. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm actually amazed that how many people are actually out this early in the morning on a Wednesday. All right, I am back. It sure was nice seeing the sunrise this morning. It was gorgeous, I really enjoyed it. Well, I'm taking a walk right now and after that I'll probably head back home. It's getting pretty hot right now. We're expecting a high today of 94, so that's pretty hot. Right now it's almost 80. So as I get older, on my birthday, I always reflect on my past, present, and future. And I was thinking about some of my birthdays of the past. You know, one year I was living out in California and I watched the sunset. I saw the sunset that year and I took a picture of it. I didn't take a video of it, but that was really nice. I was living in a town called Pacifica, California, which is right there on the beach. So that was pretty nice. But probably one of the most memorable birthdays that I've celebrated has to be the year that I drove down the coast of California on the PCH, Pacific Coast Highway. I started in San Francisco and I drove all the way down to San Diego, which was nice. I spent about a week and a couple days in California. That was nice though. It was a nice drive, beautiful scenery, and a great memory that I will always cherish. But back to the future, thinking about my future and what are some of my aspirations, my hopes, my dreams. And one of those would definitely have to be prioritizing my love life. I realize now that I probably will never find what I want here in America. And I'm someone who a lot of my values are still pretty traditional. I am progressive, I am somewhat liberal in some ways, but with the way society is now, with the way people are now, I don't quite fit into that mold. So experiencing a different culture would definitely be a nice change for me. I don't know exactly where I'll end up, but we'll have to wait and see, I guess. Yeah, it's getting pretty hot out. I'm actually sweating a lot right now. My apologies, <laughs> but I have to cool myself down somehow, right? So later on this morning, or maybe this afternoon, I will open some of the cards, gift cards that I got for my birthday this year. I never expect much, but it's always nice to read a card or get a gift card. <laughs> so I will be doing that later on. Later this evening, I'm going to head over to my sister's house and we're going to have cake and ice cream there this year. But my next episode of my podcast is going to be on modern women and dating. I've wanted to do this episode for quite some time now, so I haven't started recording it yet and I'm still putting it together, but hopefully I can have that out to you soon and, you know, just kind of share with you my perspective of the way things are and you know share some of my own personal experiences as well 
I'm so glad I came out to the beach this morning. I made it a point to wake up early this morning and make my coffee and fix something to eat so I can see the sunrise on my birthday. So when I was 15, I got my first, or one of my first real guitars from this music store right here, George's Music, here in Jacksonville Beach. And I had good grades that year, so my parents agreed to pay half on a guitar for me. They were going to buy a stereo for me, but I chose the guitar over the stereo and ended up buying the stereo on my own. But yeah, this is it. I was hoping that they'd be open right now, but they don't open until 11. So I just thought I'd make a quick video of George's music. They had pretty good prices back then too, and they were celebrating their grand opening during that time. And all these years later, they're still open. I'd go here before I'd go to Guitar Center any day. George's Musician Superstore, George's Music. Located on 3rd Street in Jacksonville Beach. So now it is time for birthday cards. <laughs> So this one is a gift card. It's from my younger sister for Starbucks for $25. So got some Starbucks money to spend. So that'll be nice. Let's see. Second, this is from my older sister. Let's see what it is. You know, today's been a pretty good day. I will say that. It still is awfully hot outside right now, though. It's 92 degrees, believe it or not. And the sun is still shining bright. <laughs> okay, we're opening it now. I'm sorry. Maybe I should show you. I wish I had a fancy letter opener. That way I could, you know, <laughs> make it really dramatic while I'm opening my birthday cards. Okay, so, oh my gosh. This is from my older sister. So this one says, happy birthday. All right, so I'll read it to you. Your birthday is here. Put your cares somewhere else. Enjoy laughter and smiles and be good to yourself. Love my sister and my nephew. Yay! I love it. All right, so this one is from my parents. So let's see what their card says. Okay, I could use a pin to open it maybe. <laughs> I don't know. All right. Okay. So this is it here. Happy birthday! Oh, okay. And this one says, hope the fun lasts long after the day is over. Happy birthday, mom and dad. And they also wrote, sorry we can't be here for your birthday. We will celebrate from afar. And that's my dad writing in his military style handwriting with caps. <laughs> All right, so yeah, my Birthday cards, yay! Happy birthday to me. All right, so I'm heading over to my sister's house and we're gonna have cake and ice cream there. I'll spend some time there for a little while and you know, enjoy the rest of my day or what's left of it. But the beach was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed that. But after a while, it did get pretty hot. As you can see, I was sweating in the video. That's Florida for you. We have a lot of humidity here in Florida, in case you don't know, unlike Colorado. <laughs> All right, so I will see you a little bit later. I have a fun fact for you about Starbucks. Starbucks was my college job. I worked for Starbucks while I was in college for about three and a half years up in the Boston area. And I worked in Florida for a little while too, but a lot of the people down here didn't like me. 
I think it was because I had a lot of New England in me at that time. So it was kind of a North versus South thing. But yeah, I have a history with Starbucks. And I will tell you, it wasn't always pretty. Long story short, they ended up firing me. Should I tell you why? I will. So this is what happened. There was an irate customer that came into Starbucks that morning, came into the store, was yelling at me, calling me names, the whole thing. I got so mad that I threw a cup of coffee at this person, at this guy, at this jerk. No, it was iced coffee, it wasn't hot. Okay, I'm making that up, I'm making that up. But I, I didn't, for the record, I did not throw coffee at anyone. That is definitely not my style. What happened was, for the record, I was fired from Starbucks, but the reason why is that I had to go back up to Boston to get the rest of my things, which wasn't a lot, out of storage. And I couldn't take time off from work and no one was willing to cover for me. That's how much my coworkers liked me. They didn't really like me in Florida. So my boss, my manager, the store manager, she told me, well, if you can't work this weekend, then I guess you can't be employed here anymore. And I told her, okay, that's fine. By that time, I had had another full-time job and I was working at Starbucks part-time working six, seven days a week at the time. I was pretty young at the time. I was still in my 20s, but, huh. and even that was hard then. I know I couldn't do that now. But yeah, I was fired from Starbucks, but I do own stock in Starbucks. So hey, I own some of the company. Not much, but I own some. You recording? Yeah. Alexa. No, don't turn on Alexa. I also have to sing happy birthday. Hmm, I'm not sure. Never mind. Can she sing? Does she have a good voice? I think so. Or does she sound terrible? It's, no, it sounds like a, it's a voice. I don't know. Too sing. high tech for me. Too much technology. Or we right. just sing it then. Yeah, I prefer to hear you too. Okay. All right. One, two, three. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy birthday, birthday dear Lene. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. And many, many more. more. Yay. <laughs> All right. Now it's time to make a wish. Yeah, make a wish. Oh, I know what I'm going to wish for. It's a secret. I can't tell. Oh, no. That's fine. You... All right. All so. Right. Yay. Wait. Plates. We need yeah, plates. I'll get some. I, I got, stopped recording. I got no. Oh. In fact, if you want to come a little closer, feel free. Um, Tasha? Yes? May I have a paper towel, please? Sure. Pretty please. Okay, well, I'll just bring this whole thing in here. With cake frosting on top? Mm -hmm. All right, wonderful. Thank you. When I go, I'm very, very sore. Physical therapy? Yeah, physical therapy. They give me massages, too. Gee, I haven't had one of those in a while. Those are nice, very nice massage. That's the only good thing I like about it. Oh, really? Tasha, you you're the, the oldest, so you can get the first piece. I like a middle piece, so you go first. Mid okay. What do you, which piece do you want, Elias? Uh, would you like? Like a corner. A uh, flower corner or? Uh, like flower a flower corner. All right. Um, how about this? Is that good? Yeah, that's good. All right. And I'll definitely leave some with you. I can't handle this entire cake okay. on no my own. Problem. You is can freeze this... some for yeah. when mom and dad come back. I'm sure I don't know if I can wait for them. I don't know when they're getting back into town. Probably until after my birthday, more than likely. Gee, that's a while from now. All right. Um, wh which plate would you like me to put it on? You can put it on that. That is a chocolate cake. I, yeah, it is. Uh, well, I hope you guys like chocolate. Oh, I love chocolate. All right. See you, Lions. Elias, you can sit right here and eat. I'm recording. All right. And Tasha, what would you like? Um. Or I can cut my piece. You cut your piece next and then I'll. All right. I would like to have this pink flower here. Okay. All right. I have to turn the cake, I think. There we go. Elias, you're supposed to be filming. You're not looking on the floor. Oh, I'm filming. Looking at the floor. 
All right. I'll just take that red, the half a red. Is this in your way? Um, mm, You're not holding the camera no. steady either. Hold it steady. You want to get it? No, it's steady. You got it? Yeah, this cake is chocolate all the way through. I love chocolate. Is this your plate or is it? Um, this it will be matter. yours. I'll just take, I'll take that half of flour when you're done. That one right okay. there. Okay, the, the corner? Yeah. Well, not really a corner, but yes, I'll definitely save that piece for you. This is for me. Yeah. Turn it over like that. My birthday cake we're going to have here. Oh! Almost forgot. Ice cream? Exactly. The I most important scoop, thing. Though. Oh, I brought one from home. Okay, good. Continue recording, Elias. And okay. watch it. You, you gotta watch it, though. I'm watching it. All right. I believe this ice cream scoop is older than I am. Is it? I think so. I remember we had this ice cream scoop I in Iceland. I a little bit of ice cream. It's a special occasion. Yeah, I think this ice cream scoop was from Orlando when we lived there, which is where I was born. Yeah. That's funny. Chandler lives where you're born. Today. Yeah, she does now. <laughs> I don't remember anything about her. I remember it. Of course you do. Little tiny pieces of it. Yeah. Like, you went to elementary school there, too. Yeah, I went to kindergarten and first grade. Yeah. When I was born, you were going to what, first grade? Yeah. Okay. I remember the house and Uncle Friends came to visit us. At oh, home. he did, didn't he? I remember that. You left I the impression on the babysitter, too. I remember the babysitter. I remember her. Uh -huh. She had the curl. What yeah. was her name? I think her name was Vivian or something. Oh, really? It started she, with a V. Was she pretty? She was pretty. She looked. She reminded me of Reby Jackson or somebody. Reby Jackson? I don't know. She, I, just, I just remember she had a curl, and I knew she was a teenager. I knew that yeah, much. Around 16? Probably about 16, 17, maybe. Oh, okay. And I knew Uncle uh -oh. Prentice was there. Is this yours, Elias? Oh, yeah, that's I'll fine. serve you last since you have the camera, if you don't mind. Yeah. Um, she just put my hand. Yeah. And I told Uncle Prentice, Uncle Prentice, who's that? I said, that's my babysitter, Vivian. Uh-huh. And he's like, oh, okay. I have no memory of that. I do. <laughs> I remember it very well. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Whoops. I think I dropped a little ice cream. Remember, her dad used to work at Crystal. Yeah. Part-time, right? Part-time. Maybe. Yeah, I'm not really dating. After I was born. I remember the day you were born. You do? Mm -hmm. I was born on a Sunday. Because Grandma Doris came. Oh, she and Grandma Doris came to visit And then us? she came later, right before we were about to leave Orlando for the ice cream. Oh, place. I didn't know that. She came, and I remember I was... I do remember Grandma Doris. And I had to spend a night over a friend's house. Yeah, but I don't remember Grandma Mamie. I remember her a yeah. little a little bit. Because I was only, because what, six months old when she died? I was six years old when she died. All right, so this is my special birthday cake. Mmm, mm, delicious. <laughs> All right, so we're going to have some cake and ice cream now, so I will see you later. Bye. Yeah, <laughs> so the day is finally winding down, and my birthday is almost over. Still a few hours left in the day, but today was a really good day. I had a lot of fun. I spent time at the beach, had a nice lunch, spent some time with my sister and nephew. We had cake and ice cream and, you know, it was a really nice birthday. I'll never forget it. So I did buy a Powerball ticket. It was my birthday, so I had to. The jackpot is now set at $1 billion. And I think the payout is 500 million, something like that. And that's a lot of money. I could definitely um, do a lot with that and do a lot of good in the world with it. But I don't play lottery that often. Every once in a while, I might buy one or two tickets when there's a really large jackpot. But no, I don't play that often. I'm really tired, I, I really am. I feel like I've done a lot today. It was definitely worth it waking up this morning at 5.30 so I can see the sunrise. That was a great thing to experience on my birthday. <laughs> so yeah, I'm not sure when I'll make it back to the beach. I don't know what else to say. So I do have some editing to do. Hopefully I'll have this video finished and uploaded 
by the end of tonight. I'm trying to get back into making videos more often. As a trans woman, especially in this time that we're living in right now, I feel that it's very important that we have positive representation of trans people. I'd like to see more of that in the future. I have a small platform. It's never really grown all that much, but I would like to, you know, represent us in a positive light so that the world can see that a lot of us are good people. We're regular people. We're not crazy people. I think that's very important, especially at a time like this. So with all of that being said, today was a wonderful birthday. Thank you for sharing it with me and being a part of it. I really appreciate that. To all a good evening and God bless.